going to talk about a new disc from Lone Star Disc, and that is their new dome. Understable fairway driver. The numbers on this one are 8, 6, negative 3, 1. I've got one on each of the main plastics, the Bravo and the Alpha plastic. The Bravo one's a little bit gummier, but their profiles are almost exactly the same. If you take a look, that is a super low PLH. Wing is very low to the bottom of the rim. Pretty decent dome that flattens off near the top. And the Alpha one is, as you can see, almost identical. The wing might be microscopically higher, but not. I don't think there's much of a difference, really. I took these guys out to the field, threw them on a couple different courses at Gatewood and at Etowah today. And I've got to say, it's impressive to me how it can uh, hold a turn really well, even at low power. Not a whole lot of fade unless you give it a lot of hyzer at low power, but I enjoyed throwing them. I think it's a good roller disc, and I think for a, a newer or low power player, this could be a great first driver. It's got just enough stability where that it's not going to be too wonky with a bad release, but it'll also give you a good amount of glide and flight if you don't have a whole lot of power yet. So uh, I'll let you guys check out the uh, throws, and we'll recap at the end. We'll start out in the field with a mild hyzer shot here. Nice little backhand flips up and rides right a pretty good ways, but flattens out for me with the alpha one. Going Bravo now, similar line. It holds that turn all the way to the ground. I'm going to give this one a little bit more power and a little bit more hyzer, and it fights through on that hyzer and hyzer line the whole way. Really nice flight. Threw a little bit higher one with the alpha, scooped it just a bit, and it rides right the whole time. Trying a flat backhand here, and this one does kind of like a reverse forehand shot, coming to the ground, rolling around a little bit. And the Bravo does a straight up roller line, uh, comes down at about 200 feet and then rolls about another 150. Pretty good roller overall. Now headed over to Gatewood, this is hole six. Throw that nice bending Anheuser and it ends up at the edge of circle one on the right side there. On uh, hole seven, very similar, fights through those trees, ends up more right than I'd like, but still had a putt. Moving over to Etowah, we're on hole five, going through this tunnel with a lot of hyzer, and it skips up and is about 15 feet from the basket. Trying this wide Anheuser line, I missed the line just a little bit, but it ends up going through most of the way. I got up and down for easy three. So I'm moving over to hole 14, throwing that flip up through the gap, and it rides pretty good, hits that branch, but still pretty good shot. So as you can see, the Bravo one was a little bit less stable. Um, so when I threw it flat, or even on a little bit of hyzer, it flipped over and would roll, but it rolled really predictably for me. So I feel like if I was gonna bag a roller disc, I currently don't. It would probably be the Bravo dome. Uh, Cause you can just put it on that line and it would roll pretty much straight for a long time, then kind of flop over. The Alpha one was a little bit more stable. It was, I would say that was more like an eight, six, negative two, one. Whereas this one is dead on the numbers or maybe even negative three, zero. Uh, but if I gave it some hyzer, I could get it to stand up, just drift and then fade a little. Uh, like that hole on number five at Etowah where throwing through the tree tunnel, I gave it a good bit of hyzer and didn't throw it crazy hard really because I was only going 280 feet. So it just flipped up, rode flat, a little bit of drift, and then skipped kind of straight. So uh, if you want one that's got a little bit less turn, maybe check out the Alpha version. And, and look at that plastic too. It's got the cool streaks through there. And you can't see the swirls super good, but it's pretty swirly around the rim as well. So another great disc from Lone Star. I'm really impressed with it. And uh, i got to think about putting the Alpha one in the bag. See if it might steal some shots from my existing fairway drivers. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.